Unravel the mystery. A long-standing friendship is put to the test when a girlfriend tries to keep an unwanted guest away. Tune in as we explore the lengths one woman goes to protect her relationship, and if she's truly the butthole in this situation. But first, am I the butthole fur making my brother give me his car after he crashed mine? Posted by Miserable Milk 3995. My uncle restores cars as a hobby. He gave my brother a Dodge Stealth as a present for graduation. Two years later, I got a Sierra X Del Sol. Not exactly classic cars, but he got them running perfectly, and the interiors were perfect. I left my car at home when I went to school. My dorm does not have parking. My dad likes my car and he takes it out for runs on the weekend. I like that he takes care of it for me. My brother doesn't really appreciate his car, but he does like mine since it is a convertible. I told him that since he has never let me drive his car he is not allowed to drive mine. My mom says that I am being petty and that I should be nicer. I said that I had no problem trading for a bit as my uncle let me drive a different stealth he did up. Long story short my mom let my brother take my car out without my permission. He was being a dumbass and he drifted it into the sidewalk and did enough damage that it is a write-off. Because it is an old car but not a classic the insurance isn't that much. My brother didn't even offer to pay the deductible. I told him that he had a choice. He could sell me his car for a dollar or I would declare my car stolen and let the cops and insurance deal with it. He tried to get my uncle to say it could be fixed but he actually bent the car. He sold me his car because he can't have a criminal record with his job. But he is pissed at me. My mom is also upset that I would blackmail him into giving me his gift from her brother. My dad and uncle are both on my side. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. It's unfortunate that a brother would damage his sibling's car without permission and then try to avoid taking responsibility for it. The situation could have been avoided with better communication and respect for each other's belongings. Excellent Count 4009 commented. Not the butthole. I told him that he had a choice. He could sell me his car for a dollar, or I would declare my car stolen and let the cops and insurance deal with it. That's really the only reasonable solution to this. You were very nice. Don't let these buttholes guilt you, you did the right thing. Your mom is the worst butthole. She has a gold child, and you are not. Suspicious Work 6790 commented. Not the butthole mom is a huge butt. Am I the butthole for telling my friend's girlfriend I won't stop staying at his house? Posted by Let Bay 7888. I met Liam 20 years ago when my parents and I freshly immigrated. My parents met his at our first play date and since then have been besties. In 2018, we moved back to our country. But I moved here again because of Yunai. The first few months I lived at Liam's place. Then I got accepted at another town and moved there. Liam's parents invite me for all the holidays as I have no other family here. Plus I stay at their house whenever I come to visit. Liam moved too and met his girlfriend a few years back. He introduced her last Easter. I feel like she doesn't like me but that's okay. She has made comments about thinking it's weird that I still come around. And she brought up the girl best friend trope. I told her that Liam is not my best friend, my fiancé is. Liam is like a cousin. Last Friday we I went to their house again for his father's birthday. When it was coming to an end, she pulled me aside to tell me that I should stop coming over. Especially now that their relationship is so serious. I told her no and that she had no say over this. She said it was the right thing to do. I told her no again. I get invited and have never been inappropriate with Liam. She left after our talk but has been basically sending me walls of texts, saying I will regret this etc. I don't think I am the butthole but he arguments are making me wonder. Am I the butthole? It seems unusual for a girlfriend to try to dictate who her partner can and cannot invite over, especially when there's no indication of inappropriate behavior. Is it fair for her to expect Liam to choose between his longtime friendship and his girlfriend? A comment from Lermanzo. Not the butthole. Please send Liam screenshots and let him know who this person really is. She's working hard to alienate you which is possessive at best and almost certainly controlling. I would imagine Liam told her that you all are friendly and your relationship would continue so she's coming to try and tell you how it will be. Definitely let him know, and let him know that you don't have any interest in your relationship with him, changing, but that you see his girlfriend in a very different light. A comment from Savings Bison 512. Not the butthole, but I would tell your friend what she is doing. It's okay that she's jealous, because it's obvious that's her problem. However, she crossed the line by coming directly to you instead of talking to him. It's likely he already shut her down and she's taking a different path to getting rid of you, but he needs to know. Dear listener, please know that you can only help people to help themselves. Please don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. 
Am I the butthole for wanting my son to treat my girlfriend with respect? Posted by any Echo5039. My ex-wife and I got divorced two years ago. We have a 15-year-old son who we share custody of. He spends one week with me and one with my ex. My girlfriend and her daughter moved in with me at the beginning of this year. My son and her have been getting along better than I could have hoped for, but lately he's been acting dismissive towards her and her daughter. Last week we found out that we're going to have a child together. We broke the news to the children today over dinner. Her daughter was excited to have a younger sibling, but my son didn't seem too happy. After dinner I asked him if there was something bothering him. He asked if we were really going to have a child and how I could be sure that it's mine. I told him that there was no way to talk about someone and he reacted by doubling down on his statement and calling her a homewrecker and a gold digger. He was getting pretty loud so I told him to either calm down and talk to me in a normal tone or to go to his room to cool off. He decided to go back to his mom's house instead. I agreed to drive him because I didn't want him walking through half the city after dark. I told my girlfriend what happened and she thinks I should text him before going to bed and let him take his time to respond without being pressured. I did receive a text from my ex though, in which she called me in butthole amongst other things for kicking my son out in favor of my girlfriend. Which is something I never did. I didn't want him to leave, but I also didn't want to force him to stay here when he insisted on leaving. I also think my ex might be behind my son's reaction since she can't stand my girlfriend. None of the accusations sounded like something my son would say, especially since my girlfriend is contributing to rent and groceries because she's an adult who can pay for herself. It's concerning that a 15-year-old boy would make such harsh accusations without any evidence, and it's important to consider if external influences might be influencing his behavior. Have a courage, Bikin4 commented. Soft you the butthole. Your son is likely feeling completely replaced at this point and needs support. As someone who has been there, I was always cordial to my dad's new wife because I truly hoped she would eventually go away. When they got pregnant when I was 11, I did not react well, either as I knew she was permanent at that point. I love my siblings now, though I still don't get along with her. Please make sure your son knows that you still love him very much. I still have a hard time with my dad because he forgot to do that in his actions, and it always made me feel less than. Again, your son is young and facing a lot of change. He reacted fairly well by opting to leave, but you need to go and talk to him ASAP. Don't let this sit. Also never let him feel less than your new kid. It's a hard thing to feel. A comment from Pink Flying Pasta. That fact that your son and her got along and then he is distant says something. Also the fact that he questions if the baby is yours. Something happened and you are being rooted and dismissive of him. Am I the butthole for not wanting to move out of state for my wife? Posted by Apprehensive Rubite 1915. My 40 year old male wife, 36 year old female, have been married for 10 years and have 4 year old. I work full time and my wife is stay at home mom. She quit her job about a year before our son was born because she hated it. Met in my hometown where she also lived at the time and been here for 10 years. Agreed before marriage that we would never leave the state. Wife never got along with my family which worsened post baby so for peace at home cut off my family. No contact for about 2 years. Interact with her family every week and visit her parents every 2 months. She had postpartum depression, took meds after much convincing but took herself off without telling anyone. Only found out due to side effects from stopping abruptly and she confessed. Had back pain post baby due to disc bulge so saw many specialists and currently have good and bad days. Noted pain resolved when we are with her parents so when questioned stated furniture, floor, peace of mind etc. Made changes to the house furniture with no difference. We were fighting a lot so saw a couple therapists. Wife stopped therapy because she felt the therapist was biased. Did individual therapy but she stopped because she felt only I needed the therapy. She has anxiety but refuses any kind of treatment. We see a lot of specialists because she constantly worries that she has cancer or she is going to unalive. She is adamant that the only solution is to move closer to her parents. I looked for jobs there but bad market so offers were about 25% pay cut and more hours. It was also about one hour commute one way from where she wanted to live. Also it is whole compared to where we are now. Due to continued unhappiness offered alternative where we move close to her parents to an apt immediately but I will fly back and forth for my current job every other week until I find a job there. Talk to some close friends and getting feedback that this is not a good idea. My gut also tells me that this will not fix our marital issues but will just move them. We will also be in a worse financial situation. I don't want to go along with the move and she has threatened to move with our child on her own and wait for me there. Am I the butthole for going with my gut and not wanting to move? Edit 1. My wife is really caring and compassionate. She does care for me but hates my family. 
I think pregnancy did not do her justice due to all the complications afterwards, and she has not gotten the help she needs for it. It's concerning that she refuses treatment for her anxiety and postpartum depression while insisting on moving closer to her family, potentially causing financial instability and further marital strains. A comment from Snoobunny7461. Not the butthole. To me it sounds like she's depressed which comes out as anger and anxiety. She doesn't seem open to thinking that things could be better if she tried therapy and medication. It doesn't matter where you live, she's still going to be unhappy. OP replied. Unfortunately, this is what my therapist said as well. I keep pushing her to try either therapy or meds, but she is adamant that the move is the only solution, and the reason for the depression is unhappiness in our current location. Am I the butthole for demanding my boyfriend's sister get a job? Posted by Bookish Stars. I, 32-year-old female, have been in a relationship with my current boyfriend, 40-year-old male, for nearly a decade. About four years ago, we decided to purchase a home together and split our bills fairly based on our salaries. We usually get along very well until I brought up something that had been bothering me lately. For background, his sister, 50-year-old female, and brother-in-law, 55-year-old male, were going through a hard time financially. They moved states over a year ago to be closer to us and we offered to help them get on their feet. By this I mean, they live in our home, rent-free. At first we paid all expenses they had, but when the brother-in-law got a job we stopped paying for anything other than the mortgage, utilities, internet, and other subscription services. They live on one end of the house, and she is in charge of chores for her family including cooking and laundry, for them specifically. I take care of anything for my boyfriend and I, including communal areas. This arrangement didn't bother me at first because I understand how hard it can be to find a job without a college degree or connections in the area. I get that. What bothers me is that about a month ago I was talking to the sister in the backyard about jobs, and she didn't seem in any hurry to get one. She states that she isn't sure she will even search for work because her husband and son, 19-year-old male, also living with us, have both told her they don't want her to work. This is because they want to be able to get home to all chores done and a hot meal ready. With her working, they would have to contribute to chores and make their own meals. This rubbed me the wrong way because I work my butt off at a highly stressful job, but don't have the luxury of staying home. My boyfriend has on numerous occasions told me that he can't afford to maintain our home by himself, so staying home is off the table. Also, she is able-bodied and has nothing keeping her from finding work other than her husband and son. I told my boyfriend that I was annoyed that she doesn't try to find work because they know they don't have to pay rent, and I asked him to help her find a job. He told me I was being selfish and unreasonable, because regardless of their presence we still have to pay the mortgage. This started a huge argument because he told them that they could stay as long as they want, it's already been over a year, and he assured them he would never ask for rent money. He didn't consult me on this. I thought I was setting a boundary for their stay with us, but he is making me feel like I am just jealous that I have to work and she doesn't. So, am I the butthole? It seems unfair that the sister and brother-in-law are living rent-free while the OP's boyfriend insists she continues working, despite his ability to support them without her contribution. The situation raises questions about financial responsibility and equality within their relationship. Armory Caro commented. Not the butthole. Sorry you split your bills with your boyfriend, and you both own the house together, but he gets to decide that three people can live there and freeload off of you? I get they were in a tough position, but sounds like there are three people who could be working and contributing to the household that aren't. I'd maybe be thinking about the long-term viability of the relationship if your boyfriend doesn't want to take your feelings and needs it to consideration. Like yeah, neither of you can afford this in your own, but it sure as heck would be easier if the three other people there were contributing. A comment from Rick Rosselt X. Possible ways forward. 1. You and boyfriend agree to charge these people a fair market rent and stop paying their portion of shared utilities, and either coexist happily or they'll go find their own place. 2. If your boyfriend won't play ball, you only pay your portion of all shared expenses, about 1-5, and tell boyfriend he can pay for his relatives. And seriously reconsider whether you want to be living with your boyfriend's family for the rest of your life in your own home. OP replied. Thanks for your perspective. If you want more of this content, consider subscribing because we post new Reddit stories every single day. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Have a miavelous day and see you in the next one.